Hello, in this video, I'll introduce you to spread operators in JavaScript and show you how to use them. If you're ready, let's get started. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to use the spread operator in JavaScript and the best use cases when you should use the spread operator. Let's get started. On my screen here, I have an app.js file and an index.html file that's linked to the app.js. And on this side, I have a, a console open and a live server instance that's going to help us to log the code and see the results. I'll begin by syntax of how to write the spread operator. It can either be used to manipulate arrays or objects. For arrays, that's a spread operator, then you pass in the array. Then for the object, you pass in it that way, then the object. So that's the basic syntax. Now, I would like to give uh, specific examples of uh, code, but before that, I would like to uh, outline the possible use cases. The, there's possible use cases. The first is copying array. The second is concatenation or joining of arrays. Then the third one will be to spread with function arguments. The fourth is to merge objects. The fifth, creating a copy of an object. The sixth, converting strings to arrays. Then the last is the rest parameter. We've talked about that in some videos on this channel. So you, if you'd like a conclusive or a good tutorial, you can check out my video on the differences between default and rest parameters. So these are the best use cases or the use cases for spread operator. So we start with the first one. We'd like to use the spread operator to copy arrays. So how do we go about that? Using the spread operator to copy arrays, you can first begin, let's begin by creating an array. Then this array will have three numbers as elements. Then um, I'll create a new array. This new one will copy this array using the spread operator. So I can do something like, uh, this should be new, not new. We can do a console log here. So we are checking this new array and you can see it copied this array into this new one. You can test it by, let's add a four and a five. So we have this array, then we're using this spread operator to copy it. So I have adjusted it slightly by adding an extra four and five to see, and we see the new array has five elements and this has been copied. So that's one use case of spread operator. I'd like to comment out that the second use case is joining arrays or concatenation. This is a second use case. Suppose we'd like to join two arrays. Think of a case where we have this array one, which has one and two, two as the elements. Then we have another array that is array two, which has, we go with three and four as the elements. Then we can create a new array now, which is going to join the two using the spread operator. We can do const new array will be equal to, then now we join the two, array one, then we place a comma, then array, then we can now check out this, what's the values of the new array, which we have joined the first and the second. We just pass in the new array and and we have a mistake, you see, there's a mistake. So this is the mistake. This should be a small letter. Then this should be two. There should be a two here. Then we are missing here. As always, making mistakes, is, it's allowed. So in this case, we what you're doing here, we are taking this array and this array, then you're merging them into one then this is the syntax. So we are using the spread operator on the first one, then the spread operator on the second one, then you're joining the two arrays to form this new array. As you can see, the elements are combined into one array. The next use of the spread operator is spreading elements. 
in a function argument. You can use the spread operator to pass elements of an array uh, as arguments. Uh, suppose you have this function that adds numbers, then it takes in two parameters, x and y, then it returns its sum. It's a simple function. It has two parameters, then it just returns the sum. You can now have an array of numbers that you'd like to test with our function. If you have this array and you'd like to pass these numbers into this function, you can define a constant, which is the result of the sum of these numbers. And now we call in the function, then pass the numbers using the spread operator like that. Then we log that and it gives us the right answer. So we are using a spread operator here, pass to get these, el argument, these, these elements of these array numbers, and we are passing them as, as the argument of this function. The other way to use the spread operator is to match objects. So that's the fourth way we can use the spread operator. So suppose we have two objects, object one, which is has, let's just create a simple object, has one element, then we do another element and we can add another element. So that's a simple object. Suppose we have another object, but now this is E and the value is four, then this is E and the value, value is five, then this is f, then the value is 6, then this should be 2, because we don't, we cannot really declare a constant. So we have two objects here. If you'd like to merge this into a new object, so a new object, we can simply merge them using the spread operator. So we take the first object, then we take the second object and merge them, simply as that. So the new object will be, will be the first and the second combined. And we now have one object that has all these combined. So that's another way to use the spread operator. The fifth one is copying objects. Suppose you'd like to copy objects. So I'll use this object. Then let me change this to X, Y, and Z. So we have this new object here. Then we can create a new object again. Now in this new object, we can copy this. You can simply add the spread operator, then pick this object and place it here. We log the new object and you can see we copied the first object, object one, into the new one using this spread operator. The other way to use the spread operator is to convert a string or iterable data types into an array. This is the other way. Suppose we have a string here. The string has the text, hello. Simply, let's just do hello. Then we can do const. We now need to convert this to, a, to an array. String array will be equal to, it's an array, not an object. We pass in the spread operator and the string. We log, we, we close that, the string array, and we now have it as an array. We have the elements each of these, uh, these characters in this string spread out into an array, as you can see on the screen here. That's another way to use the spread operator. The last way to use the spread operator is as a rest parameter. A rest parameter allow you to pass indefinite number of arguments to a function as array. So suppose we have a function here, which does the sum of numbers. We can now just test it by just logging numbers. We can simply pass in using the spread operator, the numbers array. In here, this will now be an array. We can we can test it and do some, all the function, pass in numbers as the elements, and it's going to give us an array. So that's the other way to use the spread operator. I hope by the end of this video, you can now comfortably use spread operators in JavaScript. If you found value in this video, kindly consider giving it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.